Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bullish trend, what's going on with the stock market world. The market is almost closed, 10 minutes, 10 minutes to go, let's start it. Let's start it from VBull, let's move to VBull. Uh, let me briefly mention about my setup, I am using moving averages, uh, feel free to go to the description, there is the link about my VBull trading setup, training, and uh, other links about all my trainings, feel free to watch it. And let me briefly mention about my setup, I am using moving averages, this line shows the value and color, MA200 to, uh, white line, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. Uh, bearish, bearish reversal signal red dot, uh, bullish reversal signal green dot, MACD indicator, green line, bearish, red line, signal line, RSI indicator, same kind of setup, awesome oscillator, green, bullish, red, bearish. That's all. Very simple, very easy. Nothing complicated. I'm sorry, not very easy, very simple. It's uh, not easy because emotions involved, like two emotions like fear and, and greed. And but remember, if you use indicators, indicators do not have emotions, you will be successful. Just follow the indicators, follow the market, don't fight with the market. The simple trading style is very simple. Look at it like here is bar. This bar did bullish crossover over yellow line over 20, MA5 did bull MA5 and 10 did bullish crossover over yellow line 20. When MA5 and 10 and bars about 20 and 20 is uptrend, it's a bullish trend. When bars and MA5 and 10 below 20, below yellow line, it is bearish trend. Very simple. Okay, let's start at USA dollar. Yeah, it's still below 200, but still last, you see MA5 and 10 and bars about 20, right? About yellow line, it is bullish trend. Bullish trend on daily time frame for US dollar and it means it's bearish for indexes. Uh, let's start, let's move to Qs, let's move to Qs and let's see what's going on with Qs. Okay, Qs daily time, and remember for swing trading I'm using daily and four hours time frame for entry and exit position. Uh, this, yeah, this is new high level, 330. 338.67. Uh, it this line is connected to August, I believe August 12th. The level was $333, $334. And we are kind of behind, uh, we are kind of accused uh, about August level plus four dollars. Kind of bullish trend, right? Price but bearish divergence, bearish divergence on MACD, no changes, still bearish divergence, it was not destroyed, still bearish divergence on RSI, right? On RSI, bearish divergence, even price action is bullish every day, you see uptrend direction. Same bearish divergence on awesome oscillator, no changes. That's what we have multiple bearish divergences on all indicators with bullish trend for Qs. Qs the most positive. Four hours time frame for Qs, same story, price action is uptrend, or oh, the last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, same bearish divergence on, on MACD, bearish divergence on MACD histogram, bearish divergence on uh, on awesome oscillator, awesome oscillator flat, RSI, no bearish divergence anymore on 4 hours time frame. 1 hour time frame, it is bullish trend, yeah, bullish trend, bearish divergence on 1 hour time frame on MACD, Hikonachi, on RSI, not on Hikonachi, on Histogram, on the, on the RSI, on the Awesome oscillator, bearish divergences, you see price action from this level to this level. It's kind of uptrend and flat, but on all indicators is downtrend. 
bearish divergence is on all indicators on one hour time frame but signal is bullish vxn vxn is bullish look at it vxn on daily time frame it changed direction to bullish it is bearish for q's it is it is bearish for q's okay let's move to spx spx daily time frame spx flat spx zero flat today no changes q's is kind of yeah, flat plus quarter percent up spx flat s p 500 flat daily time frame it is still bullish last bar above all moving averages all moving, all indicators still bullish on my cd rsi also a little bullish bullish with bearish divergences right price action is uptrend and macd macd is still downtrend on, on all indicators still bearish divergences bearish divergence on macd bearish divergence on rsi on on spx and bearish divergence on awesome oscillator s p 500 wants to go bearish because of the bearish divergences on all indicators but price action still uptrend bullish let's move to four hours time frame four hours time frame bullish with bearish divergences bearish divergences on all indicators trend is still bullish one hour time frame <coughs> one hour time frame it is bullish i'm sorry one hour time frame is bearish bearish reversal on my five did bearish crossover yeah bearish reversal signal macd bearish crossover rsi also later all indicators just change direction to bearish on one hour time frame for s for spx for s p 500 let's check week weeks weeks is plus two and a half percent today it's kind of yeah investors they're buying they're buying protection uh vix was bullish it's kind of bullish reversal still still bullish on all indicators except also oscillator and my five just did bearish crossover over 10. it's kind of bullish it is bearish for smp it's a bearish for smp dow jones dow jones daily time frame dia dia bearish trend may 5 and 10 and bars below 20 it is bearish direction 20 is downtrend bearish trend macd bearish i can rsi no i can rsi and and awesome oscillator bullish only yeah two indicators bullish awesome oscillator bullish and bullish reversal signal two indicators bullish three indicators bearish for our time frame for dow jones rsi bearish awesome oscillator bearish macd positive but in the bearish territory ma5 also positive about 10 but bar in the bearish territory below 200 bearish reversal signal bearish trend on four hours time frame for dow jones let's move to one hour time frame one hour time frame it's a bearish ma5 did bearish crossover below all moving averages and last bar close below all moving averages below 200 it's bearish territory macd red bearish kaikanachi also later they all bearish in a bearish territory on one hour time frame for dow jones uh vxd vxd volatility index for dow jones let's see daily time frame it is bearish trend on all time frames it is bullish for dow jones disconnected from dow jones and uh, apple let's start apple one hour time frame bearish reversal signal on all indicators even price action is still on one hour time frame it is still bullish right ah uh, uh, one hour time frame let's see from this point it is still bullish macd macd is still bearish 
uh, RSI kind of LED, awesome oscillator, it's also bearish divergence. MACD and, and awesome oscillator bearish divergence, multiple bearish divergences on all indicators for Apple. Apple wants to have some correction and like other, uh, other, mega, like other mega stocks, they want to have correction, it will, it will do correction for Qs. Four hours time frame for Apple, same price action, uptrend, bullish, no changes. Uh, MACD did bearish crossover, RSI, awesome oscillator, they all did bearish crossover, all bearish reversal. Bearish divergences on MACD, on histogram, on MACD, on awesome oscillator. All indicators, they have bearish divergences. It means Apple wants to go bearish. Apple wants to go bearish. And look at it and even on RSI, 4 hours time frame, it's bearish divergences from here. Downtrend, price action is uptrend from, from October. <laughs> ah, sorry. It's a mess, always mess with this. No, what's going on? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. This lines. Bullish divergence. Easy to make new one. Bullish divergence. Same on my CD. It's a bullish divergence from here. Right? Bullish divergence. Bearish divergence on all indicators. Same on RSI. It's yeah, it doesn't matter. It's multiple five times one. Okay, let's start from here. Uh, Let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> bearish divergence, huge time. Bearish divergence is huge time on the, on, the, on the Apple. Apple wants to go bearish. One hour time frame. One hour time frame, it's a bearish reversal, right? On all indicators, bearish reversal signal. Apple is bearish on one hour time frame. It's kind of a flat today, nothing critical happened. Uh, Tesla, Tesla was bullish. Let's see, one hour time frame, huge run for last two days. Very bullish run. It was below 200. It did bullish crossover. All moving averages, look at it, they did bullish crossover over 200. Now very positive, last bar, very far from 20, from 200. Very bullish trend on all indicators, very overbought. Look at it, RSI around 81. Very overbought on all indicators. Very overbought. I believe we never saw recently at least this kind of overbought condition. Four hours time frame. Four hours time frame also very bullish. All moving averages except 50 did bullish crossover over 200. Last bar very disconnected from 20. Very bullish signal on all indicators. RSI also in very overbought state, 75 points. All indicators in a very overbought state. Uh, and let's check one hour time frame. Tesla was today like 5%. Um, one hour time frame. Well, I already told you like a two days bullish run. Let's move to daily time frame. Daily, it is bullish. All indicators bullish on all time frames. It is bullish. Baba, Alibaba group. Let's do Alibaba group. Daily time frame. Uh, last two bars kind of bullish. They did like bullish crossover over 20, and close about 20. It is more bullish. It's yeah, bars below 200, below yeah, below 200. Bearish reversal signal. Still bearish territory below all moving averages except 100. MACD positive kind of signal, RSI negative, awesome oscillator green, awesome oscillator green bullish. Uh, we can say like one, two, three, four indicators bullish. Yeah. Three indicate, four indicators bullish, one indicator bearish in bearish territory. On daily time frame for Alibaba group for Baba. Let's check four hours time frame. Four hours time frame. Uh, 
it did some gap today, looks like. Looks like it did, yeah, it left some gap. Yeah, gap, uh, like one dollar gap, one and a half dollar gap. One, one gap below and multiple gaps above. And it has even more gaps. No, no. Okay. For our time frame, Baba, it is bearish on all indicators except Russell 2000. Russell 2000, for some reason, positive bullish. All other indicators, bearish. And one hour time frame, let's see what's going on. One hour time frame, MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20, bars about 20, but still below 200, 200 downtrend. It's a bearish trend, MACD green bullish, RSI bullish, high, R, awesome also later red bearish. RSI actually bearish divergence, bearish crossover. Now looks like there are three indicators bullish, two indicators bearish. Mix mode on one hour time frame also for Alibaba. Nvidia. Let's start. Nvidia was very positive, today was kind of flat, flat day, negative on one hour time frame. MA5 did bearish crossover over 20. It is bearish signal. MACD bearish, RSI bearish, awesome oscillator bearish on one hour time frame. Four hours time frame. Yeah, it was bullish and recently changed it kind of bearish, right? But no bearish crossover, no bearish confirmation yet. It was very in overbought state for the last couple of days ago. Now it, it, it's going to cool down at least below critical or over so over but a zone uh red bar on, on the awesome oscillator but still kind of positive bullish trend and on daily time frame let's see on daily time frame it is bullish bullish trend bullish yeah generally bullish trend with bearish divergence on mcd uh yeah, bearish divergence, still multiple bearish divergences on the, hist on the RSI. On RSI and the uh, same bearish divergences on the awesome oscillator. Uh, Nvidia wants to have some bearish correction because of the uh, bearish divergences. And let's move to... That's all, NVIDIA videos tip review. That's all from my side. Let's do kind of summary. Dollar is still bullish. Dollar is bullish. It's a bearish for indexes. Indexes, the Qs, the most strongest index, very bullish index on all time frames, on all indicators. It is bullish because of the 10 high tech mega corporation stocks. They are bullish with bearish divergences. Same on Qs. Bearish, multiple bearish divergences, Q2 wants to have some bearish reversal signal because of the bearish divergences, multiple. Uh, S&P 500, S&P 500 kind of, kind of bullish also with bearish divergences. It did a little bit higher than it was in February, new high, little high, but Bearish divergences on all indicators, it wants to have some bearish correction also. Uh, Dow Jones, the weakest index, it's a, it's a negative bearish on one hour on one one on daily time frame. IWM, it's a, it's it's kind of positive uh, trend. They have positive trend. It's both last three bars, kind of last four bars. It's a, it was kind of positive today. One and a half percent up, and two days before it was positive, but still below 200 in the bearish territory. Signal is bullish, but territory is still bearish below 200, still in the bearish territory. That's all. That's all from my side. And weeks volatility index says they're changing direction to bullish. It means it will be negative for indexes. Be careful if you are bullish. Just keep. Stop, uh, stop tight because market wants to change direction to bearish. Please save your profit. Save your profit. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. Please read it and remember for educational purposes I am using paper trading account.
Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style video. I do publish daily updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe for YouTube channel. Click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.